All right. So yeah, this this tier list is gonna be. Yeah, this tier list is gonna be uh, in the seventy star. Not played in seventy. Uh, oops. Wait, where do I remove this one? I don't want this one. Oh yeah, there. I'm blind. I'm blind. Uh, Fire Red, thanks for the 41 months. All right, so let's get started. Uh, tier list for the worlds in SM64 in the 70 star route. And this is from a playing perspective. Worlds I enjoy. Uh, but yeah, we can start with uh, things that are not played in 70. This is not played, this is not played. Wait, is that one for HMC? Is that the picture they picked for that? Uh, this one is not. I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, they actually include like they actually include like Peach's slide, wing cap, stuff like that. Yeah, uh, JRB is not played either. Marissa, thank you for two months. Yeah. I'll, I'll say, like... Actually, I don't know about Vanish Cap, but I'm happy. Actually, one of my favorite things with 70 Star is that you don't play this stupid world. Uh, I'm not a fan of water levels. Uh, so I'm happy JRB is not even part of the route. But yeah, if we're going to include... Yeah, if we're going to include, like, this weird stuff, I guess, like... Peach's slide, not interesting at all. Very short. You take two stars, literally, like, in the same way. Uh, I didn't even think I was going to rank this one, but... Yeah, that's a bad one. Mm. What else do we have? Oh, wait. No, HMC is there, so I guess this one as well, not played. I'm not even sure why they included that one. I guess they did it because Wing Cap and uh, Vanish Cap was included. Uh... So yeah, D tier, Peach's Slide, D Triple D, Triple D. Swimming and Mario games do not go hand in hand. Swimming and video games, period, basically don't go hand in hand. I've never played water levels and been like damn this is a masterpiece i guess the closest has been like in donkey kong country they're fine they're fine but even then they are still not amazing water levels it just takes away so much from the movement so no and then i i ha i hate manta rings that star in triple d and 70 star so poorly designed so poorly designed how the rings work so yeah, Triple D will be down here, absolutely. Uh... Honestly, I'll actually have Wing Cap at tier above. Wing Cap is legit more fun than these two. And we might add another tier. Uh, I didn't go into this knowing where to place everything, so we might need another tier. But Wing Cap... It's very short, very basic, but it's almost like throwing shade at Triple D. I mean, in Smash, DDD never get it's never good, and even in SM64, Triple D is not good. Bad sign for Triple Ds. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, I think BBH is quite boring. It's only two stars you do in the 70 star route, and one of them is like super, super basic. But even the whole world, I was never a fan of this one as a kid. Uh, 
I was never a fan of BBH as a kid either. So, yeah, it, it ranks low for me. And it doesn't help that, yeah, as I said, you only take two stars. One of them is among the easiest and shortest stars in the run as well. Uh, it's not quite as bad in 120, I imagine. But, yeah. And one in 70 star, you just play it so short. And one of the stars is, like, super uninteresting. So, yeah, BBH, you go low. You go low. Mm. Damn, this is, actually, uh, this is actually quite hard. It's so many good worlds. It's so many good worlds. Uh, Klompe, Rom, thank you for the $2. Thank you so much. Dude, yeah, this is so hard. Actually, I'll probably put SSL. Maybe this, maybe this one, I'll say, this one might go higher once you learn Pillar less and once you do an extra star in SSL. But the thing is, in my current route that I use, I take one star less in SSL than the world record does. And for one of the stars, you do a kind of boring strat with a shell. And it's very glitchy when you like travel up the pillars with a shell. So it like breaks. Like the thing is, I know like you're not supposed to like travel straight up because then it breaks. But it's still so stupid. It's pretty poor design if you ask me. Uh, and the other two stars. One of the stars is quite fun, actually, when you long jump on the fly guy. And then, like, uh, take the bird star. That one is actually quite good. That one carries SSL on my level a bit, but not enough. So, yeah, this one will probably be high C tier. Yeah, that sound when you hit the fly guy, like, the boing. It's good. It almost carries it up. Almost, but not quite. Uh, final Bowser, actually my least favorite Bowser stage. Uh, I would say it goes up a little bit by the fact that you have to do three throws instead of like one throw that you have to do in the other two Bowser stages. But I think movement wise, it's at least for my current route, the least interesting. Some of these, as I said, like, they might change over time when I add new strats uh, and stuff like that. So this is, like, literally based on, like, my current, uh, current strat. But, I mean, it's still... The fact that you have to line three throws at the end makes it a good finisher for the game. It's not crazy hard, but hard enough where you will see a lot of people choke runs. Uh, what else do we have? Dude, this is actually so hard to rank. Oh, I forgot B O uh, B O B. Uh, yeah, you do bomb clip and then one flying. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, this one goes down here. I I, I forgot. I forgot. Uh. Yeah, B.O.B., you do bomb clip and then flying to the island. Same thing here. Like, this is like, you take the same two stars, but the world record and, like, high-level players take one of the stars differently. Maybe that will add to it being more fun. But right now, it also suffers a bit from, like, the concept of, like, B.B.H. and S.S.L. But in particular, B.B.H., where you do very few stars. Uh... But in general, it was never, like, one of my favorites as a casual either. Bomb Clip is, like, it's decent. I mean, none of the stars are bad, but none of the stars are very fun either. Uh... This was actually harder than I expected. I 
I might have to end up changing placements on some of them, but... Uh... Why 70 star? Because that's the category I run. It's the category I run, so it's like more fresh in my, uh, you know, in my mind. Like a casual playthrough I haven't done since I was a kid. So I feel like it would be a little bit unfair to rank some of it. And it also might be more interesting for some people that, you know, this is what we do on stream a lot these days, the 70 star route. So like how I enjoy the particular different different worlds. Um, what are we going to take next? THI might be next. Like, we're approaching, like, when stuff is starting to get pretty fun. Uh, Secrets is annoying, but when you do that start clean, it feels good. I think part of the reason I ranked this one relatively low is that I think the Piranha Plant star uh, is not that interesting. Uh, not much movement in the star, quite a bit of like waiting, uh, and relatively short as well with only three stars. Maybe more interesting in 120 on tier lists, but right here having one of the three stars being quite boring. It's like, I feel like it has one boring star, one decent star, and one pretty fun but frustrating star. So, secrets, fun but frustrating. The one, like, on top of, like, the mountain or whatever you want to call it. Solid. And the piranha plant one. Uh, boring. Uh... Fire Sea might be next. Yeah, Fire Sea might be next. Uh, another one that also might like climb later on when I use the Pro Pro strat. Uh, my favorite part of this level is uh, the side flip to like get off the elevator extra early. Uh, it's a good level though. It's a good level. I really, I really like it. As I said, like from this point, like we only have like good stuff left. Uh, and it looks like once you have mastered this level, it looks really fun but frustrating too. So uh, this one, this is one I could see climb once I get better. But currently, I feel like it's like play okay to make the elevator face, and then once you get like the side flip to get out of the elevator, it's not like the most interesting part is probably like making the elevator cycles. And right now I'm kind of like stuck where I have to get way faster to make it an extra early cycle. Uh, so for me, it just kind of feels like basic the level, I guess. Uh... I feel like SL. Probably next. Uh, two very basic stars, like one of the stars inside like the ice cube and uh, the ice bully. It's four stars in total for the route I'm doing. So quite a lot, but two of them being very, very basic. Uh, takes it down a little bit, but overall still a solid world. Still a solid world. I know in 120 a lot of people find it very frustrating and it seems to kill a lot of runs in 120. But in 70 star, except for today when we choked in SL, but it's probably among the easier levels in 70 star I feel like, at least when you take whole worlds into account. So I guess that like is part of the reason as well where it doesn't go higher because it being extra difficult, even though it's frustrating, it's a Fun, frustrating, if it makes sense. Uh, ooh. Mm. Hmm. 
HMC next, maybe? Uh, I mean, solid all around. Solid all around. None of the stars are, like, boring. They are all, like, at least pretty good or quite good. Uh, you take four of them so that you get quite a lot of, like, gameplay in this world as well. Uh, a little bit annoying with, like, RNG on one of the stars with, like, how the rocks are rolling. I know you can readjust, but it's annoying to lose time on RNG. Uh, but, yeah, overall solid level. 100 coin, though, in 120 star, that looks like I probably would hate this level. That, that star looks so hard. But in 70 star, we can luckily skip that. But overall, yeah, solid level, solid level. Peaks not super high, but the lows are not bad either. HMC 100 is so good. I mean, if you're good at it, it probably is, but it feels like it's such a run killer. Uh... I almost feel sad. No, actually, actually, this one first. This one might be top of B or lowest A, but we're gonna put this one here for now. We're gonna put this one here for now. Uh, this is also a world with like a lot of gameplay. You take, I think you take every, no, you don't take 100 coin in this one. You don't take 100 coin, but every other star you take. Uh, the bully is not too interesting, especially not the big one. The small ones are more on the annoying side. Red coins is very, very simple and kind of lazy designed, I would say. But it also have like some uh, cool peaks, especially inside a volcano. Lava boost is uh, very fun to do. It looks cool as well. And it feels good to pull it off. And then the second star inside the volcano, uh, also pretty fun, I think. So this one is like a little bit more like high peaks. But the lows are also kind of bad. But I think the peaks makes up for it. And the fact that you get to play a lot of stars. So. I feel like this one might be controversial. I'm not sure. I actually have no idea how runners tend to rank these. But. Yeah, I'm going to put it lowest A for now. But might be pushed down to top of B. Uh... After this, I feel a bit sad that I have to put CCM here because CCM has one of my favorite stars in the run, arguably my favorite star, which is uh, the backflip star, wall jump. Uh, I've, I've said that a lot on the stream in the past, but that's probably my favorite star. So peak is really good. I, I, like it's a short, sweet star and you just feel so satisfying to pull it off. Uh, so I think that that's the main thing. That's the main thing that carries it uh, a bit for me. The Penguin Star is not complicated at all. Uh, it's pretty easy. Uh, among the easier stars to learn in Samity, but it still feels nice to pull it off. Some of the easy stars is kind of like whatever, but the Penguin one still feels quite nice. Uh, penguin Race, a little bit tense, especially if you don't take the backup coin. So it's like one of these places where the run can literally die just like that. So overall, like, pretty good peaks, especially with the backflip star. Uh... Oh shit, this is hard. Yeah, we're down to the top six. We're down to the top six. I kind of sadly feel like I have to take Dark World. The thing is, I think Dark World is really, really, really fun. Honestly, the only reason I put it, like, here is that it's short. Everything else in this list, you get to play significantly more. Peak-wise, uh, peak wise, I think it can compare and maybe even surpass some of these. But the fact that it's so short 
is sadly something that I feel like puts it a bit lower. I mean, that might be an unfair way of looking at it. Uh, and if people feel that, I'm not going to hold it against you by any means. But the fact that it's so short and the Bowser fight itself is not very interesting, uh, it holds it down a bit. But everything leading up to Bowser is so, so cool and so fun. I mean, runs for me dies here sometimes, but when you play clean on this level, it's some of the most enjoyable, like, you know, two minutes or whatever, you know, split time it is, I don't even remember. So really, really high peak, but falls on the fact that it's short and the Bowser fight itself is not interesting. The Goombas can be a pain in the ass. Like, okay, yeah. Now I feel more justified putting it this low. Yeah, I was saying LLL was like one of these two. I might put it down to B tier. I'm still not decided. It feels... Actually, no. Just having Dark World in that tier, I think that's enough. LLL does not belong to be in the same tier as Dark World. I'm sorry to LLO lovers, but nah, I, I can't, I can't have it in the same tier as Dark World. Oh, uh, hmm. Top five now. Top five. Maybe controversial, but I will put TTC. This one also maybe will change when I get better. But right now, it does have high peaks. And 100 coin can be pretty fun. And very, very challenging to pull off cleanly without losing time. I think what puts this one below for me is not only the invis invisible walls. Those can go and do something. They can do go and do something. Do not mess with me more. But it's not only that. It's not only that. Like, sure, you get to take all the stars. But at least with my current route, a lot of them are quite similar. I do love reds. I think that's a very clean star to do. And I enjoy it a lot. But some of the other stars besides 100 coin and reds. I do the same setup at the start. To uh, to basically get up to this like little block wall jump. And then from that wall jump. I do the same path at first for two of the stars. The same path for two of the other stars. So I think the fact that it's like. A lot of like repeating the same stuff uh, weights it down for me. But as I said, once I change strats, maybe uh, I will look higher of TTC. Because if I do add some uh, more difficult strats down the line, the world is not going to be as repetitive. But right now, it's very repetitive. Or maybe not very re repetitive, but quite repetitive at the very least. So. Yeah, this is another one that like could go higher in the future. But with my current strats, like I don't want to talk about this. Like I don't want to rank it higher based on like maybe enjoying it even more once I get better. I, I go based on like current strats I'm using. Uh Oh, this is actually hard. Yeah, this is so hard. For a while, I did say these two for my top two, but I'm not sure if I feel that any longer.
Dude, it's so hard. It's so hard. Uh, <sighs> yeah, I guess like since I have such a hard time, they're all gonna be in S tier. Yeah, they're all gonna be in S tier. I just gotta like figure it out what what order I wanna rank them in. Now, I'm sorry, Wet Dry World. You used to be my second, but I think I will put you at fourth. I think I will put you at fourth. But th they're all amazing. They're all amazing. I probably wouldn't like this one as much in 120 due to swimming. But in uh, in 70 Star, you skip the swimming. You skip the swimming in, in 70. So that's a big plus. I guess the biggest thing that draws it down is one of the stars being super, super, super simple. Not fun at all. The other three stars, or... I guess technically four stars since you do uh, 100 coin as well. Uh, they are all amazing. The elevator one is really fun. Uh, the one when you long jump from the elevator. Uh, clean, clean movement. Uh, 100 coin also really cool. Uh, spider RNG can be annoying. But in general, a masterpiece for 70 star. I, in the end, I guess it's mainly the fact that one of the stars being very boring is what pushes it down uh i think i'll put rainbow ride rainbow ride third also it's hard to say here as well but it's also a very fun level, very high stakes. That's like one of the most positive things. It's like positive and negative. When you're in the run, it's frustrating. But pulling it off feels so good. And uh, triangles, that star is one of my favorite stars in the run too. Uh, like the triangle and uh, what's the other one called? I don't remember what it's called, but I basically long jump, side flip to grab a yellow platform, and then a long jump. That was the one I initially was thinking of. But the triangle one, I, I like a lot as well. Uh, so those two is like up there for some of my favorite stars. Yeah, honestly, all these worlds in S tier are so amazing. Womps, I'll probably put second. Womps, I'll put second. Um, you take every star in this world, which is nice. Uh, quite a few cool tricks. Uh, like cannonless, like your movement up to uh, the top of the fortress. Owless I've started to mess around with. Uh, I don't really do it in runs unless they're bad at the moment. But that's another cool trick as well. Uh, 100 coins, very interesting so far as well. Gotta be fast, precise, make the cycles. Really good, like first world world you get to play i mean you do one star in bob but moms is like when you really when the run really starts in my opinion and then this might be controversial but i actually really like ttm when i'm playing clean you get to play so many stars here uh a lot of cool tricks uh, clipping through the wall then uh yeah clipping through the wall Getting up, you know, high up on, on the mon mountain uh, early on. Long jump to the stock. Uh, very, very precise stars. I would say this is like the first super hard level, in my opinion, uh, with my current strats. So high stakes, high stakes. Uh, red coins, really interesting and satisfying when you land the movement as well. So amazing world, amazing world. But honestly, the top four, I could see them being any order for me. With TTC possibly going up here in the future too. But yeah, that's uh, my current, current tier list for SM64. Please let me know how would you rank? Which uh, spots do you guys think I was uh, 
doing badly, in your opinion? 